Hello everyone and welcome back to Saurian, where the Triceratops are still mad. Are you kidding me? Are, are you still thinking you're gonna come after me here? I, I'm gonna take you out if you keep doing this, if you don't stop chasing me. Are you really doing this? Oh my goodness, they're getting pretty far from their herd. This might be a good chance to get some food. Yeah, last episode, if you guys remember it, was definitely chaos. Um, we lost, I think, in total, well, we lost our, our baby, we lost two different nests. It was, it was pretty chaotic. And uh, we're gonna be trying not to, not to let that happen again this time. Maybe if we bring down these Triceratops, we'll have some good food here. Uh, and they maybe won't trample our nest then, because that was a, a problem the last time. Are you down? Yes. All right, are you still, oops. Oh, there's a few Triceratops over here. Actually, I see there's another one over there. Um. Oh yeah, the whole herd is moving around. Are you are you are you thinking you're gonna are you thinking you're gonna come eat as well? I hope so because I don't know how hungry you are, but it would be good to take advantage of this food that we have. We're gonna have to place our other nest somewhere because one of them flooded out, and I'd rather not have that happen again. That is just a triceratops. Are you thinking you're gonna attack me if I go get water? Is this what you're thinking is gonna happen? Potentially. You're thinking about it. He's considering it. Is he thinking he's gonna come after me? Maybe. We might have intimidated them by bringing down one. I just want to get some water, and one of them has gone off into the water over here, apparently. But yeah, we want to be far enough away that we're not gonna have to worry about... Oh, who's chasing me? We're getting the- we're getting the combat music. We want to be far enough away from the water that we're not gonna have to worry about getting flooded out. Whoever it was up here, he's moved on. So... oh. Oh, there he is. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, what is, uh... What is Elpidus doing? But I... I think... Hello? What in the heck are you? What in the world are you? What are you? I've never seen this weird little fellow before. I have never seen this little guy before. I don't know who he is. <laughs> That's pretty interesting, but he's screeching at us. But anyway, um... Hmm. Are you chasing my mate? I think you're gonna cause problems if I don't kill you, so we're, we're just gonna kill you real quick as well. You'll also be some good food for my babies. Uh, oh my goodness, we're getting a little bit trampled here. But yeah, as a super adult, these guys die a lot more quickly, which is very nice. And, oh, there's another Triceratops. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be carnage all over again. Are you thinking you're going after me? Are you thinking you're going after me? Okay. All right, you want to go? You want to go? Yeah, we can go. All right. Uh, we'll go. We'll go. Oh, he might actually shake us off. He might actually shake us off. He is. Oh, dear. Okay, this guy, I think, is a little bit older. Oh, there's several of them here. Several of these Triceratops have moved in. Kind of not super fond of that. Be careful, bud. I don't want you dying to him. Kind of not super fond of this. Oh. Oh, goodness. Okay. Oh, we we did get we did get Raptor Prey Restraint. Okay. These guys are a lot better at shaking us off, though, is the problem. Because, yeah, there we go again. Okay. Um, we might not actually want to pick this fight. Goodness. Yeah, we took some damage from that. Okay. Let's maybe find somewhere back over this way. I don't know where my mate has gone. Are you still good, buddy? We'll, we'll get over here. Has he... Elpidus, where did you go? He's tired. He's down by the water. Okay. Let's reunite with him. We'll see if we can get these heckers to leave us alone. And uh, then we'll try to find somewhere else to nest. Maybe he's... Oh, Elpidus. I'm not sure I like this. Oh, that turkey's chasing him. Goodness. No, no. I think we're going to put a nest up here and that should call him back to us. 
We'll do it on this bluff that's near the edge of the water, but that isn't in the water. If we go over here, everybody should leave us alone, I think. Let's put this nest up on this cliff here. We will go and dig it out. It does place, so you just have to dig it. There we go. And that should bring him back over here. Goodness, there's a big boy here. There we go. All right, how many eggs are we going to have this time? We have two. Okay, I think that's the first time we've seen two. All right, all right. Um, let's, let's nest. I'm going to have to watch this big guy here. I think we can kill these guys as a Dakota Raptor. But if he minds his business, I may leave him be for now. Oh, who's this? We've got food running right to us, I think. I see you. I see you. Yes. Did you notice we're in need of a snack? Because that's what you're going to be. You're just perfect for this. You are not going to... Excuse me. Excuse me. No, get off of my nest. Get off of my nest. You are my food, not the other way around. You're not eating my babies, but we're going to eat you. What are you thinking you're doing? There is one... Why am I hearing fight music? There's one random turkey. Are you thinking you're gonna pick a fight? Why are you vocalizing? Do not vocalize. Do not vocalize. I'm not afraid to fight you. There are, um... There, there are Triceratops coming in a little bit. And there is that turkey down here. If he comes out on the shore, I have no qualms about ending him. Oh, are you the one who- are you- Man, these- these freaking turkeys- Oh, there is a Triceratops here, too. Why is this herd moving back? No, I'm gonna sleep real fast before we get into, uh, into this trouble here. We're gonna- we're gonna sleep. We're gonna sleep. We're gonna sleep quickly. Can I sleep? There we go. I- because I don't want these guys bothering me, and I don't- I don't want to be fighting them in the dead of night, either. Just leave me be. Leave me in peace, you hackers. Are they gone? Oh, they're gone. That worked out. All right. Goodness. Oh, now there's a now there's a crocodile. Where's my mate? Oh, he's over there, I think. Is that Elpidus over here? That is him over there. All right. Oi. Tempted to go after this guy because I don't want him like messing with my babies. Are you thinking? Are you thinking you're going to go after me? Now the problem with these guys these guys are a little bit a little bit glitchy at times because they can if you're not careful they can just headshot you i don't think it's supposed to happen not as an adult but like they can if they if they hit you wrong they can headshot you and it, it's just like an instant one shot so i'm like not sure if that's supposed to be a thing or not so I'm hoping that doesn't happen, but I don't want you really lingering around when my babies are about to hatch, so how about we don't? I'm gonna try Raptor Prey Restraint, because I think that's gonna be- Yeah, that's okay. That's exactly what I'm talking about. So... Yeah, I'm gonna say we can retry that. I am trying to uphold deaths, but you can see you just immediately die. So... I, yeah, I think that's still a bug that's in the game. Um, so we're gonna... Oh, he's gonna probably go die to it, too. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna reload that. Okay. So this brings us back to morning. He is still down there. The thing is, you just really can't Raptor Prey Restraint them. Um, I... I don't know if that's supposed to happen, but it feels very glitchy to me. Oh, goodness, he did bite us quite hard, though. So the thing is, they can just... They can grab onto your head when, when you bite them, and I don't think that's quite what it's supposed to be. I don't know. I genuinely could not tell you. I To me, it feels like a glitch. Maybe it's intended, but uh, generally we don't uphold glitch deaths. So I'm, I'm ruling it as that for now. You guys can tell me what you think about it, but to me it doesn't feel quite right. I'm not sure what's supposed to be intended, though. Did we lose our food over here? I think we might have. So I kind of want to kill that guy just for the purpose of food, honestly. But I don't know. It might not be worth it. It may not be worth it. 
don't want to be drinking water right now. That's not what I'm after. <laughs> I'm still trying to kill this guy because we need to eat. Ouch. But the problem is, like, I may, it just it might not be worth it just because of the headshot possibility. I don't know. I, I think what it is is there's... The game does... The game does... Stop it. S cease. Cease. Do we kill it? No, we did not. The problem is the the game does decide it does determine where your where your shots land, but because if it gets you in in the head, then it just counts as an instant kill. But I think it's a hitbox problem is the thing with this. He's going back in the water. He might follow me out of the water because now I've ticked him off. I just don't want him eating my babies, and I kind of want to eat him. Ow. Oh, that's not ideal. I don't want to be in the water right now. He's going to start biting my tail. Yeah, he's coming after me. Oh, I think we got him. Okay, we got him. We got him. All right. Yeah. These guys are just a little bit strange. So we did kill him. <laughs> but yeah, they can one shot you if you're not careful. And it's... I, I don't... I don't think it's intended. So I'm not going to rule that as a canon death. But at the same time, I do try to avoid using Raptor Prey Restraint on them to prevent it from happening. But yeah, that's kind of how, how it stands with that, because we have seen that in other series. And I just... It's so instantaneous, even as an adult, that I feel like it can't be intended. But I'm not, I'm not sure. But yeah, uh, we got food. That seems to be the only food around. So uh, until our babies hatch, we're probably not going to be... Um, it, oh! Speaking of hatching, I guess they just have. That's good, because we'll probably want to find somewhere else to go, potentially. But yeah, we've got two babies. Oh, and uh, Elpidus is up here now. What? So, oops, no, I don't want to, no, I don't want to lay down. I want to, I want to see the babies. I want to see the babies. Which babies do we have? All right, so we have Theros is a male, and uh, Polonia is a female. So I'm going to actually rename these guys here. Uh, you guys have sent in some names. And again, you can do that in the episode comments. I'll add them to a list. And when we have new babies, we'll name them after some of those names. But uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and name these guys. And if any of them survive, uh, they might be potential options for someone we could carry on a legacy with. All right, so we've gone ahead and named these two. I've actually called them, I call the female Ebony and the male Echo. So we have Echo and Ebony. And I hope these guys will live. I don't see anything around us that could kill them. We do have food down here as well if they get hungry, so we'll probably stick around here for a bit. But then it might be wise to keep moving. I was going to say, I thought for a second that big dino in the background there was a T-Rex. It is not. But had it been, we would have needed to move in the other direction. Now, I hope these guys follow us pretty well. Uh, it looks like Elpidus is eating... But let's see, are you guys going to eat? We now know we have to keep them far away from us for turkey hunting, which is not something I realized is going to be as important as it is. Are they hungry? I don't know if they're actually that hungry right now. We'll hang around here for a bit. They're so cute. <laughs> they're so darn cute looking at them now. Um, but yeah, um... We'll see. These guys are fairly fragile, and I don't know if they'll last or not. Look at Elpidus there, <laughs> looking so proud of our, our catch here. He's just sitting by it. Uh, we've just been chilling here with the babies. I don't... Where did one of the children go? Hold on. Hold on. All right, Echo stay, seems to stay closer to us than Ebony does. Oh, I guess Ebony's right there. Okay, uh, we've just been hanging out, chilling. So far, things are going pretty well, but I'd kind of like to, uh, kind of getting antsy. I'd like to find other food if we can at some point. We just need to do so cautiously because otherwise, uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna run the risk of having to bring the babies into the combat, which is not great. I do wish. One thing that I hope they add at some point, and again, Saurian is in, I think it's still considered pre-alpha. It's not even alpha yet. They're still very 
comparatively early in development compared to where they want to be. But um, one thing that I do hope they add is more communication emotes because it'd be nice to have like a stay emote or a come here emote that you could direct at the different, um, the different, the different, uh, the, the, the different members of your herd or pack or whatever it ends up being called. I don't know. Raptors. It says herd. Is it a herd of raptors? A flock of raptors? pack of raptors i don't know i don't actually know what you call them um but the that we have the herd menu menu we do have some communication emotes for the triceratops which more naturally do live in herds i would like to see that system expanded on so that you can communicate more with your mate and babies because what happened to delta was difficult um I don't really know how it would have been avoidable because there was no real way to say, hey, follow us, let's get out of the fight, or stay here, stay away from the fight in the first place. Delta just kept following us and followed us right into combat, and that wasn't good. <laughs> so as sad as that was, it's kind of difficult to avoid with the current system, and that is something that I would love to see Saurian add it in the future, is better ways of communicating with your herd mates or pack mates. Oh boy, why are we moving over this way, y'all? It looks like the, the kids have decided to follow Alpinus and he wants to head back into the swamps and I'm a little conflicted on how I feel about that. Uh, this did not end well for us last time. Maybe it'll be better this time. We are leaving our food source behind though and that's not so ideal. But I guess this is closer to the water, which is good for getting a drink, just not so much for staying full on food. We'll see. It's getting to be later in the day anyway, so we'll probably want to rest. But, oh boy, y'all. Um, I think Vectra has some concerns about this course of action. Okay, so we're starting to have a slight itch issue here, which is that... All of our all of our herd mates are hungry. It is nighttime, which means that I would rather not be out and about right now, but I don't think we have much choice. I think we're gonna have to go try to find something to eat. And unfortunately, I did go looking for our old carcass. It's nowhere to be seen. So as much as I hate being out and about at night, um, and that's I think my own trail from when I was over there. As much as I hate this, I think we don't have a lot of choice right now. Oh, what is happening here? Is that- it's a Triceratops getting attacked by a crocodile. And fighting the crocodile. Okay, wait, this could actually be good. This could actually be good. If either of them dies... Then, or if we can get the Triceratops' attention, let's actually go... Okay, let's try this. Let's do a threat display. See if we can get the, um... The wrath of this Triceratops here, because this is a young'un. If you finish killing that thing, you're gonna be weak. Or if there's another one around somewhere. We can lure one of them back. Hey, look at me instead. I don't want to jump in there with it because I can't see where the uh, crocodile is well enough for this. And I can't see if there's other Triceratops around either. Yeah, the scent view in this could also have some improvements made, I think. Are we... Okay, we still have our, our whole herd at least. Alright, come here. Hey, hey. Look at me, look at me instead. I want... Oh, there's the crocodile, we gotta be careful. I want this, um... Did the Triceratops die? Oh my goodness, I think the Triceratops is what died. Alright. If there's another, then never mind. Um, Is there another Triceratops around here? Because if there is, we might be able to lead it back. Oh no. The problem is I'm not sure there is. Okay. What we might have to do is try to lure one of these guys. Ooh, who's mad at me? Is it you? Are you mad at me? You might be. I know these guys fight. Hey, come here. Come here. You're not gonna, like, one-shot me, are you? I know you can kill them, I'm pretty sure. You gonna follow me? B 
being a little careful here. I guess we could just go after you this way. All right, we got to get back. Problem is we got to lead this guy over here. Okay, if I jump on you. Oh, that's not what I want to be. I, we know the tail whips can be really bad from some creatures. All right. Oh, we're attacking. We are attacking. Okay. Oh, he's going to shake us off if we're not careful. All right. Bite, 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 bite. Bite, 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 bite. Oh, he's running the absolute wrong way. Oh, I don't want to be shaken off. Nope. I don't want to be in this view. Oh, frick. Okay. They can, um... They can one-shot you. All right. Um... Okay, so... This is not a thing I knew. It's a little bit of a weird circumstance because we did get knocked off and then immediately one-hit killed. It's a bit more of an understandable one-shot in my book than the crocodiles because I really think that's a glitched hitbox. But this does mean we have some options. So I want you guys to tell me in the comments what you think we should do with this. We could count this as a legitimate death and say that this is the end of Vectra's story. If that's the case, we do have descendants now. We do have, I think we would say at this point, three. Um, because we have Thoe, who we know for sure survived being a juvenile and escaped. Like, she went off on her own. She's, she's, she's out in the world somewhere doing her own thing. We also have Echo and Ebony, who are still alive at this time. And we basically would start off with whichever one we wanted to play as a baby. So, those are the options. Or we can say that this didn't make sense We didn't because we didn't know this would happen. It wasn't us dying stupidly. It was unforeseen circumstances, which is something that I go back and forth on and whether or not we should allow. So, for example, with the crocodile, I think that was very... That doesn't feel like it should be a legitimate death, but this was something that I think could have been intended. So, with that in mind, I'm gonna leave it up to you. Do we count this a legitimate death? Say that this is the end of Vectra's story, that she died trying to find food for her family, but her young ones live on, or do we say that, no, this isn't uh, a legitimate ending to the story. Um, it was just a bad dream. We're going to wake up from it. We're going to go back to where we were with the nest and get the chance to try again. Let me know what you think in the comments. And I suppose we'll leave this here and see what happens next. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time, whatever the outcome may be. But until then, this is Jay. Over and out.